Sorry to keep you waiting. Uh, let's switch to winter right away in case something weird happens again. Okay. <laughs> it's very nice to see you two together. Now, I would like to have the hat, please. Thank you so much. I'll never forget what you've done for us. Come on, my darling. Climb onto the top. Okay. And here's the hat. Thank you again. Good. That's number one. Well, thank you. I have to go and give the hat to the great wizard now. Bye. Simple enough. Here's your hat, sir. Oh, my hat! I feel the knowledge flowing through my body. I feel happy. That's great, sir. What's next? The gift from the soil. The fruit. The creation of selective random elements. So we can eat. Beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it's incredible. Yes, the fruit is talking to me now. It says that... The book. My book of knowledge. It's in the library, but beware. The book may be hiding, so you have to be persistent and patient. Good, sir. I'll go to the library then. Wait, there's a password you'll need to go inside. Let me think. It must be something about how we learn, or... I remember the password is... Your basic senses are easily manipulated. Shut them down before learning. Uh... I'll try to remember that. What does it mean, though? It means that many times we let our understanding be manipulated. We should always try to use our common sense. Nobody should ever tell you what to think or believe. Be hungry for knowledge, and you'll find yourself in constant evolution. That will make you free to cherish every second of your life. Oh, I think it's very fun to think and learn. And being curious helps a lot. I'll be going to the library now to find your book. Alright then, off we go. Okay, no creepy lady this time. The clock scared me for a s second. As Hi. Do you remember, Fran? You are a murderer. You are a nutty little girl. Nutty girls must be punished. What the fuck? Do as I say. Do as I do, Fran. Jump. I didn't want to kill them. I didn't want to. Oh, my dear. Don't listen to those evil things. You're strong. Let them out of your head, my dear. Am I crazy, Kitty? Tell me. No, my dear. You just have to be strong. Don't let them play with your head. Oh, my Kitty. I feel completely broken. My chest hurts. Oh, my dear. I'm here for you. Don't cry. I love you so much. I love you too, my dear. We should keep on going now. Let's go to the library. Do you have the password? Yes, I do. Yes, alright. What is the password? Uh, it was something like... Your eyes and ears... A limited sensor has shut them down before learning. Good, and why is that? 
Uh, because only Van we can really see. It's like the city. It was invisible to me before. Knowledge is everywhere, even in darkness and silence. You can come inside. Have fun. Good. Ooh, a dragonfly. Hello, sir. What are you doing? Ah, uh, I'm looking for my special book. Uh, why? Are you standing on the ladder? You have wings. Uh, because the ladder though was made to be used, of course. But uh, the logic in this game sometimes, right? But what if I need to use it? When you should wait your turn. <laughs> How polite. But what if it's an emergency and I can't wait for that much? And you should have arrived earlier than me. Sorry, but I have to keep looking. This is ridiculous. I think the Great Wizard's book is on the shelves. Yeah, me neither. Oh, those are the... I see. So these are numbers. We know that is a one. Two, three, four. That's all we know, basically. Not sure which one is the five. Or six or seven, for that matter. This may be a seven. What? No. I need to... Aha! That helps. Okay, so E is a 5, and X is a 10. Got it. Wait, oh. So it means... Okay, 10, 20, 30, 40. I get it. And this is the Fibonacci number row. And yes, I kept saying Fibonacci even though it is Fibonacci. Meh. Okay, so it is 1, 1, 2, 3, 5. 3 and 5 is 8. Means... I have to check that again. 5, 6, 7, 8 is that one. Eight, five and eight is thirteen, meaning that one. I did it. Wow, I'm so great. I have to turn the lever now. Uh where is it though? Oh, there. <laughs> that did what? Have a nice time reading your book. Oh, thank you very much, dear. Great. I'm reading a book about a book about rabbits that are having dinner. Would you like to see? Okay. Uh huh. Oh, white rabbits. We will eat dinner. Great. Looks like they are having fun. I hope they are. Hmm. Two rabbits, then three rabbits, then five. That's even another hint on that. Wow. Now I'd like to keep reading, please. Oh, of course. I don't know what that did. Ah, oh, I see them all around, yeah. Hmm. It didn't really do anything, did it? What was the point in doing that? Do I have to do that in a different time? Oh! All oh, right, of course, the library is closed now, so nobody's there. Makes sense. 
Aha. Hmm. Doesn't really do anything. And uh, now the letter is back there, so that didn't help. Must be something about it being right there. That got me. That got me good. <laughs> oh, that was mean. That was really mean. Fuck you, skeleton man. You are weird. I need the book. <laughs> I'm getting the fuck out of here now. Nobody even cares about that thing being there. Lovely. Ugh. Yeah, I'm. I'm just gonna leave now. Just, just go away. <laughs> what the hell? Just what the hell was that now? Sir, here's your book. It was inside the musical bo uh, the musical box. I saw the doll. <laughs> the Itward Lock. That sounds like fun. Thank you for the book. This certainly makes me remember many things. Many, many things. And now what? There are two things left on the star. Yes, fish in the water. Whoosh. Fish, fish swimming free. Go back, little fish. Go. Fish? Fish. Go back home. Oh, yay, it's not dead. Wow, oh, sir, you woke up the fish. Yes, because I remembered how to do it. Isn't it beautiful? That's magical, sir. Can you do that with other beings? Like humans? Of course, but only if the circumstances are positive. But the circumstances are often not positive. I see. Hmm. So we need to find the missing stones. Yes. The fish told me that my shoes are on the feet of the amazing dancer. Do you know where this dancer could be? I have no idea. I think I know. So I don't have a ticket to go inside the bar. Don't you have your ticket? That's odd. May I borrow your ticket? My ticket is mine. I can't lend it. Huh. Then go inside the bar yourself and take the shoes of the dancer. Oh, I can't. I'm making rabbit signs, and I'm pretty close to the answer. Besides, I know you can do it. You have completed some very difficult tasks already. Alright. These people here, right? Sorry, short interruption, it suddenly got really, really warm in here. What? No, don't... quit. <sighs> Isn't it lovely how nobody wants to give me their goddamn tickets? That is probably gonna be lo the last thing, that. Wait. Okay, that was just me imagining things.
Hmm. Where could I get... Hmm, could the old guy give me that? Nah. Maybe you, you haven't given me anything yet. There goes friend the tourist, have fun. Tourist newspaper, beautiful. Okay, great, and all that. Um... No... Where do I get the ding-dong ticket? Tickets anywhere? You, maybe? Nothing new. Hmm. Don't need anything from this shop. Okay. Well, where do I go? Good question. Can't I have to go home? You are at home, my friend. The universe is your home. Now he's getting philosophical. That's very nice well, thought. Ugh, what is that smell? Oh. Wow! My goodness, it's really bad. What the f... <laughs> Ugh, was that necessary? Hmm. Yeah, where do I get a ticket? From the guard, maybe? Like, he can't go there anyways, right? Nope. Okay, even if I talk to him, I just get in here. <laughs> yeah, as if that thing really cares about that. Hmm. Where to get a freaking ticket? Where, where, where? This is annoying me a little bit. No, don't talk to that. There's <laughs> no one really here either. I don't know, can I give him some random nonsense? I haven't even looked into this yet, I believe. Oh wow. No, this doesn't look familiar. I found myself hunting the truth, but finding the unexpected. I found what my senses couldn't show me. I found the truth that relays silently in the unknown. My name is Leon. I'm currently 92 years old, oh wow, and living alone in a little house far away from the city. I have to admit, I never was fond of jewelry, houses or clothing. Since childhood, I always talked to animals, plants and insects. And even though I never got a response, I never quit. 
If you are reading this, maybe it's because you are looking for answers. Maybe you can see things that others can't. Or you can feel what others avoid. You can listen to the silence and become one with everything. I can't stop it. I can't control it. I see the black shadows everywhere. The blood, the messages, the screaming, all the pain. I can't figure out why this is happening to me. Because it hurts. I had a vision. I'm still breathing fear. I feel at war with my own mind. One of the shadows came down from the sky. I thought it was an angel. Its name is Rema, Prince of Darkness from the fifth re reality. It talked to me, played with me and showed me all the terrors. It told me that I was the key to its existence. Inside my head, the stone of wisdom inside my head. I can see myself around. I can see myself around. Uh, the other me, tell me lies. Uh, talks about all the pain and suffering in my life. The other me wants me to commit suicide. He smiles while pronoun pronouncing the words "kill yourself." And I have tried, hypnotized by his words, but there is always something saving me at the mo at the end. It must be the love to live. I meet a shadow for the first time it talked to me. Kamalas. Their race is called the Kamalas. They, they hunt weakness and pain. I asked it about the possession of human bodies and it said, We are born and, we are born and feed from fear and the uncontrolled illness of human mind. We are invisible to them but our existence grabs every single living cell of the body until the end. After that it started raining and it walked away from me leaving a black oily path after it. I believe water may purify them. After, s after seeing the Kamalas reacting to water I thought of trying a little experiment. Last night I encountered something and counted something amazing. The Camellas transform into a new kind of creature when exposed to water. The, metamorphos uh, the metamorphosis was painful to watch. After the terrible screaming, the Camellas calmed down and started to cry on the ground. It felt like the pain was disappearing. After a few minutes, a bright and peaceful being was rising in front of me. It felt like the bright creature could read my thoughts. I thank you for waking me up. I was suffering. I must go where I belong. Itesta awaits. All Valokas must go there after waking up. If you wish to see the light, come with me. You have the key, it said. I didn't answer. After a while, it faded away. I was reading my writings to see if I'm missing something. I recall Rama from the fifth reality. If there is a fifth reality, there must be at least four more. I was thinking that Etherstar may be a city in this world, but in a reality it may not be a city in this world, but a reality by itself. I wish all answers came to me. I deeply regret the fact that I didn't accept the Valokas invitation. Since I saw the Valokas, I keep seeing this diagram spinning in my head and a single sentence. Time is the rhythm of your perception. I got a visit from my son, Brian. I told him about the things that I've seen. But he didn't want to hear and left. I don't blame him. I understand that the reality presented before my eyes is invisible to most people. I wish I could find a friend just like me because my son, he thinks I'm insane. My body and mind are beginning to understand the pattern. Life becomes quite easy to control when you cut all social laws and only apply our reality laws because they are not only laws but also behaviors. Chemical behaviors, natural laws. Without those behaviors, without those laws, we wouldn't exist. 
Sometimes I wish to be a leaf on the ground, calm while dying. Last night after the storm, a huge creature visited my garden for a few seconds and then disappeared. I found a strange bottle with a pink liquid inside. In the same spot the creature landed. I can't fully understand the contents of the bottle. I have found red blood cells in it and bacteria not yet recognized. The bacteria seems to get rid of unusual behavior in, in any kind of living creature. I poured some of the pink liquid on a dying plant and it bloomed after a few minutes. I cut my finger to test the liquid with human tissue and it cured it after a few seconds. This bacteria may work as platelets and white blood, uh, blood cells but uh, at a very high speed. This is a lot of information. I dream of thousands of black cats surrounding my house. Big yellow eyes staring at my sleep. Beings in Neterstar are varied. From roots to giant insects. Roots are the first in this reality. Insects came later. I learned the language and numerology. Okay. The Great Velocas is the beginning of the first reality, Primeve, Light. The Velocas body structure is quite different from ours. They are made out of photons and sound waves. They are also both male and female. When the youngster reaches age 299,790... No, wait. 299 million... 792,459 they are crowned with the shield creation of the great Velocas, king of Eterstar second reality life being in Eterstar feels like becoming what you can't understand on earth it's where leaves sing while falling off the tree and the water whispers its wisdom while you drink it Pandora, creation of the fifth, five realms of essential existence, FREE, -E. resides in the human world, third reality, Earth, Mars and Jupiter, consciousness, practice of will, Senersidi, the end of vibration when both ends of opposites are the same degree, resides in third and fourth reality, death, Mabuka, is the end of light. Mother Mabuka is letting me go. I've spent 15 days here in Mabuka's den and I'm tired. I don't need to hide from pain anymore because it's part of me. It feels like love is everywhere and in everything. I enjoy crying. I enjoy laughing. I enjoy being alive. I'm getting ready for the journey back home. Mabuka sent me to the endless limits of Mabuka's den, and I'm waiting for the Luciferns. I had to become friends with them, or to be more precise, become one of them. Luciferns gather in filaments. That's why they look like they are growing hair, and the big face is mostly for communication purposes, and to scare the predators. That's the things we met before, I see. <coughs> I hope my body can survive the journey. Gravity collects particles to create new ones. It's a creative force, and with creativity, evolution is inevitable. What is this? The drawing to the left looks like an antenna. Oh no, somebody ripped off the rest of the book. That sucks. That was... Very fascinating. Problem is, that didn't help me. All oh, right, <laughs> I didn't even think about what I was doing there. Huh? But yeah, how do I get the uh, thing?
Nope, can't to talk to them anymore. Okay. <clears throat> Damn it. I need the bloody ticket. I don't know what to do to get inside, but the answer must be in there. Ugh. I don't get inside, you bloody cat. Not sure if you're a bit of a derpy kind or something, but yeah, that's kind of a problem. If you didn't get that already. <sighs> wasn't anything on the other side. They were just the clothes. Damn it! <laughs> 